When talking about reabsorption rate, we need to focus on the part of the kidney involved in reabsorption, and that's the nephron. In particular, the tubule. The reabsorption rate of a substance is defined as the amount of that substance that is reabsorbed from the ultrafiltrate back into the peritubular capillaries. The reabsorption rate of substance X equals the filtered load of substance X expressed in milligrams per minute minus the excretion rate of substance X expressed in milligrams per minute. With this in mind, let's answer the following question. A 24-year-old female with poorly managed type 2 diabetes has a plasma glucose concentration of 5 mg per ml, a urine glucose concentration of 250 mg per milliliter, and a urine flow rate of 1 milliliter per minute, and a glomerular filtration rate of 125 milliliters per minute. Which of the following represents the reabsorption rate of glucose in this patient? Your options are 175 mg per minute, 275 mg per minute, 375 mg per minute, or 475 mg per minute. Pause the video to work out the problem. The correct answer is C, or 375 mg per minute, which was determined by taking the filtered load of 625 mg per minute, which is equal to the GFR of 125 milliliters per minute times the plasma glucose concentration of 5 mg per milliliter, minus the excretion rate of 250 mg per minute. Now this provides a framework to think critically about reabsorption of filtered substances. For example, a normal plasma glucose concentration of 1 mg per ml and a GFR of 125 milliliters per minute yields a filtered load of 125 mg per minute. From this, we see that the filtered load is linear. At this plasma glucose concentration, all of the filtered glucose is reabsorbed along the proximal tubule via sodium-dependent glucose co-transporters. Now, as plasma glucose concentrations increase, the reabsorption rate will equal the filtered load until the sodium glucose co-transporters become saturated, at which point the reabsorption rate reaches its maximum. This is referred to as the transport maximum and is denoted as TM. Transporter saturation coincides with the appearance of glucose in the urine. Now the curved part of the reabsorption rate and the excretion rate are referred to as splay. They represent the plasma concentration at which the transporters initially become saturated but prior to reaching their transport maximum. Besides transporter saturation, Due to increased filtered load, genetic defects and transport inhibitors can reduce the transport maximum while leaving reabsorption rate unaffected. However, genetic mutations that alter transporter function will decrease the transporter maximum and the reabsorption rate.